step back over here for me, okay? He ran from a stolen vehicle. Step back here for me, okay? Hey man, you're pretty close, man. Can you just back up to the light pole for me? I mean, Copper, he's standing on a public sidewalk, dude. He's not in your scene. He's not talking to you. He hasn't said a word to you, dude. He hasn't said a word to you. He's just standing there. We're not gonna interfere with you, man. No one's gonna, no one's gonna interfere with you. I, I can't hear you, bro. Nope, nobody's gonna interfere with you. We don't want to get involved with you guys. We're just, we're just filming. Right. I'm just telling you. We're, I mean, we're literally just filming. Stand right over there where that gentleman is standing. I'd really appreciate it. Well, you can stand over there. More than, more than welcome to film. Just give me a favor. Step back to the building for me, okay? I'm not going to move. I just sued you guys for five million. I'll sue you for five million more. I have a first amendment right to stand there on a public sidewalk and film you. Okay. You don't have any right just to tell me. Like this gentleman here right. away. But let, let, let me let me educate you. Sure, go ahead. My feet are not going to move from this spot, and you don't have the right to tell me to move them. Let me be clear, okay? okay so okay, I'm not we're not doing anything. We're, we're just, just trying to get both of you gentlemen back. Make sure you're not interrupting the stop. You're, you're trying to stick so we can't hold you accountable. That's the no, whole point. All we're trying to do is just make sure you're not interfering with the stop. Because look how close he is. I'm he not can't him. Be walking around like that. I don't know that guy. Then you can be right where you are right here. I know. I, I, I can be anywhere on a public okay. easement that I want to be, dude. You, sir. you good? Listen, okay. I, am I good? Just, Are you good? Okay. Have a good day. You stand right over there where that gentleman is standing. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, well, you can stand over there. Yeah, they're they're they're. Any right. We're just trying to keep like this gentleman here. Right. Bro, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you guys, though. Like, nobody's gonna do nothing to you. Can I get your name and bass number, though? Yeah, it's Officer Parra, 14415. What about you? Name and, ba name and bass number? Oh, Officer Goodyear, 19061. What about you? Name and bass number? What's that? What's your name and bass number? Officer Zouse, 19605. All right. Nobody wants to interfere with you cops, we're just filming. You got him, good job. 
If he did something wrong, we want you to get him. We're not against law and order. Nobody is. Nobody good is. I'm all for law and order. I just am filming you. I mean, if I have to see you guys 10 times, I will. But I will film you from any public easement that I want to. And you will not tell me to move. I just want to be clear. Good job if you got a bad guy. I'm proud of you. Have a good day. You Take too. care, dude. Hey, I mean it, copper. If you got a bad guy, I appreciate it. You know, I just. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, hurry up. Come on, come on. Some guy did something. The cops chased him down and grabbed him. You know, I, I, if the cops are catching bad people, that's what I want. Yes. Hey, I see your TikTok. Oh, you saw my TikTok account? I, I just wanted to say what's up. Okay. Good, good to meet you, brother. My pleasure. Yeah. All I do is film them, dude. Yeah, that's all. I, all I do is film them. Yeah, you can watch my channel called Delete Laws. Your oh, face, your, your face is going to be on it. I've, I've seen your channel. I'm sorry? I bought it from her. Just stand back from her. Okay. You're just loving this, huh? Love exercising my first number rights. <laughs> I am on private property, no. man. But Ain't nobody bothering you. Though. Ain't nobody, pro ain't yeah. nobody bothering you, bro. Know, I'm exercising my first member rights in I public. Get I get you. But just stop, just, do, just bro. Just, just do your job. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're doing an investigation. We're doing an investigation. So I'm on private just property. Just a little bit, man. It's okay. Can you just please walk on this side? Can you just go back and do your job? No, we are doing your job, but we need some. Just go do your job, bro. Like ain't nobody doing nothing to you. All you want. Ain't nobody doing nothing to you, bro. Ain't nobody doing nothing to you. I'm exercising my rights in public. We just need you to push back just a little just, bit just, for just, us, okay? Just, just stay, just stay yeah, right here. I'll give, you, I'll give you something reasonable. If you want to be right here where the curb is at, you can film all you want. But we have some private conversations we need to have with them. Well, you're a public official, so you don't have no private conversation. If you want private conversations, go back in the car, bro. That's what I'm saying. But if we can give do not, do not hinder my right to film. Do not Nobody's hinder your right to film. Do not hinder Nobody's my right to film. Right film. Do not hinder my right to film. If you don't mind, I'm not bothering you. I'm not a threat to you. I got a camera exercising my rights in public. Absolutely. Can you please just push back a little bit and give us a little bit of space to conduct this investigation? I can't do that, man. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm not doing nothing easy. wrong. Easy. I'm not doing nothing wrong. No, nah, bro. No, nah, we ain't doing all that. I ain't bothering you. He's being super reasonable, too. No, nah, bro. I don't know him. All you have to do, man, you bro, can tell him all Bro, you're all distracting me from doing my job right now. What do you mean distract? What you, job? This is my job. I'm a journalist. You're distracting me from doing uh, my job right now. Officer. What journalist are you with? What, journal, what journalist are you with? Right now, you guys filming public officials doing their jobs. <laughs> hey, look, man. Absolutely, you have the right to film. Absolutely. Okay? Hey, man. All I ask is you guys You're just asking take some too much. for us You're asking. conduct our investigation. We have some I'm not hindering this. your investigation. Absolutely. Okay? I am not I hindering. You're taking a couple steps back from me, okay? I'm I really not. do. Okay? So we're going to continue our investigation here. Just don't get any closer to us. I'm, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm exercising my rights. I'm just having a conversation just, with you. Just, Thank you so job. much, man. I'm chilling, bro. Just, yeah. have a, just go do your job, bro. There you go. We won't talk to you. We're journalists. Dunce cap. If you don't talk to us, you don't look stupid on camera. How about that? Look, 
Spread the word, Mr. Copper. If you guys don't talk to us, you won't be on camera. And then you won't look bad on camera. When this guy walks up and talks to us, then I have the chance to destroy him because I'm a constitutional law scholar and he's a dunce cap. He can't argue with me. I didn't go to any schools. None. I got no knock rated by the pigs in 2002. And ever since then, I've been researching constitutional law. Notice that when you cross the street over here, you darted across like a bunch of cars. They have to stop to avoid hitting you. Uh, just be careful next time you're crossing the street. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it today, but I mean, you could be cited for jumping in front of a path of an oncoming vehicle. Uh, and more importantly, you could get hurt. So just keep that in mind next time. I know you're trying to get your shot and your video. Didn't they, didn't they outlaw? Didn't they outlaw jaywalking now in Nevada? You can't give a jaywalking. No, it's still it's still illegal. Oh, is it still illegal? It's still illegal. I was yeah. talking to a different copper a couple weeks ago, and they said that it's it's now banned. You can no longer give jaywalking tickets. No, it's still a crime in the state of Nevada. Is that right? Nevada. Yeah, it's a civil. civil oh, I thought it was. I thought it, they banned it in California. I didn't know they didn't ban it here yet. No. I'll take your advice, man. What do you guys say, Par? If you don't have anything to hide, you have nothing to fear, right? Isn't that what coppers say? If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear? Yeah. Same thing, dude. No uh, none, no auditor or sports new films you is going to attack you. That's never going to happen. You guys will attack us, but if, you, if you're not doing anything wrong to anybody, then the uh, camera should have no problem seeing everything. You know what I mean? We just need space to work in, you know? So when you guys brought up us, it's, it's, it's a little difficult. Well, if it's NBC or right if it's NBC or ABC, you're okay with it, but because oh, we're no. in... No, we tell them the same thing. Yeah. We tell them the same thing. But notice, you're guarding us. Meanwhile, there's a man closer to all your officers right there who could do a lot more damage than either one of us. We both have to drop our cameras and attack people. <laughs> I'd have to drop my cameras and then go into attack mode against 12 cops who all have yeah. guns and sticks. And I'm watching everybody. So you, watching everybody. <laughs> you don't you need... Don't worry about me. You don't need to watch us is what I'm trying to say, Parai. Right? <laughs> we are just here to film you, bro. I am not here to fight it's you. Nothing against you guys. It's just how we, we have to how keep we the No, what it's about we is hiding to transparency. That's what it's about. Oh, we're letting you film, right? You're, you're not letting me film. It's my right to film. My God, not not government right, God given right. So, so your your rights come from God, not the government. The Constitution recognizes the the rights that John Locke recognized, which is natural law. You have the right to film people by God. Now John Locke didn't even know there was going to be cameras when natural law came out. You don't give me the right. You uphold my right. You're supposed to push these other thugs back if they try to stop me from filming. And for like example here, so while this is going on, someone should be filming what he's doing. There's a, he has a body camera. Yeah, but you can go down here, bro, below the body. Zach Wester planted drugs on hundreds of people. There should be someone always filming a third party, filming the copper in the car, because we've seen time and time again they plant drugs. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, just go for the empirical evidence that we have on our side. Sure. There's so many cops planting drugs. You have your reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't have any violence towards you, is what I'm trying to get across. I literally, bro, if you attack me, I'm gonna cower. <laughs> I don't wanna no get I don't wanna get shot, dude. And I'm super tough, so if I start fighting back, I'll get shot. And I don't wanna die. <laughs> I have no desire to die. <laughs> aren't you aren't you a marksman shooter too? It doesn't say marksman? Yeah, bro. Yeah, it says sharpshooter, bro. I caught cops in LA planting drugs. I caught cops in Ohio planting a gun. It's terrible. That is terrible, right? Thank you, Para. I appreciate that. That is terrible. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the commonality. <laughs> like I said, dude, if you guys were willing to make a few concessions, I would be 100% like, we need to support cops. But the problem is you're the zero concession where detainment equals cuffs. That. Bro, you don't need to put me in cuffs. <laughs> you know?
Man, these poor dudes look like they were on their last car too, huh? Looks like they were living out of the car, huh? Looks like it. it. Looks like it. Looks like to me, man. Looks like they were living out of the car. They got I mean, all their stuff in there. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You do what you got to do, you know. Yeah, you got what you got to do, but you don't be stealing shit and robbing. And yeah, man, if you're committing crime, yeah, you go to jail. I, dude, That's the way it is. <laughs> I don't know what they did here, but when I when I was coming down the road, I saw some guy running, and I was like, bro, you're gonna get shot. Yeah. You're gonna get yourself shot. I saw that. Like, that's why I ran, because I thought he was going to get shot. If you run, and you get caught, they beat you. They beat you. Stop moving. <laughs> if you run and you get caught, they beat you until you stop moving? All right. Did you hear what he just said? Okay, bro. Okay. Okay. That's why I'm here to... No, dude, try 2022. <laughs> I heard him say in the 50s. In the 50s? Oh, they don't do that anymore, huh? No more chasing them down and beating you? No, not like that. Not anymore, huh? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you're, you're an older gentleman now. They don't want to beat on you so much, but uh, when you're young and vibrant, my friend. I'm just very I guess with all the homeless now, there must be some real characters in here, huh? Because there's. You know what I mean? There's so many. You, you have to have characters in the in the yeah. mix. You get jobs. They're giving away jobs. They are giving away jobs right now. You need $20 an hour job left and All right. One is a hard beat. Dude, listen. These guys are hiring like crazy. They can't get anybody to sign up. So you can become a copper right now, bro. I can thank you. job. Uh, uh, yeah, well, being the cop's not that dangerous anymore. It's not in the top ten most dangerous jobs. Being a logger is more dangerous. Get this, being a, a traveling salesman for insurance is more dangerous than being a cop. Did you know that? No. Being a commercial fisherman is more dangerous than being a cop. No. Working on Working on any boat is more dangerous than being a cop. The number one way you guys are hurt is when you don't wear your seatbelts in your cars. The number one way a cop is killed is through his car. Did you know that? That's just that any traffic accident. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But coppers are not immune from it. The number one way you guys actually get injured or hurt is through your car. Well, you guys doing a good job. No, they're not. They're doing a terrible job, bro. They're doing a horrible job. That's why I'm here. I'm here right now because cops overall are doing a shitty job. <laughs> the policies are shitty. That's the whole problem. Bro, I've been in all kinds of situations. The policies are inhumane. If the policies were, were not inhumane, they'd be... It, Take care. See, Parrot, you seem like a nice guy. And then, like, in a year, we see a video of you, like, stomping someone's head in. And we're like, God, he was such a nice guy when I met him. You know? That California cop that was beating that black homeless woman on the side of the street. Remember that one viral like crazy? He was on the side of the street like beating this chick. And uh, come to find out, he was one of the best cops there was. Everybody said how great he was. He just one day had had enough shit, lost his cool, and started beating this chick right on the freeway. He resigned and he was a disgrace and all that. But then when they interviewed a bunch of people about him, he was one of the nicest cops there were. He didn't. Have, he wasn't violent. And then, so then you go, Oh, so the best, nicest ones who are a teddy bear turn into a freaking grizzly bear once they lose their cool. <laughs> no, that would never happen to me. Never? But it speaks to the importance of uh, employee wellness, right, for police employees. Yeah, you guys don't have a proper wellness program at all. There's no there's no proper... The firefighters of 9-11 and the cops of 9-11. Five years later, every single cop who went in was dead or off the force. Every single firefighter was still there. Because at the end of the day, they went to the to the barracks and got together and said, man, I saw that dead body, it messed me up. And that two hours they spent talking changed everything. You guys don't get that. You shoot someone 10-8, back on duty. <laughs> but, um, and it's, just, it's not a problem just here in Vegas, it's a problem nationwide. But, nationwide, yeah. But I know our new sheriff is trying to change that. Yeah. So. You guys put so much so much time and money into officer safety and getting all these military weapons. And you don't put any, any money into changing out the brutal horrific policies and weapons you have now there's no net gun still where's the net gun 
Where's that? So the guy's got a knife. Where's the net gun? How much billions of dollars do you guys get? There's no net gun. Why not? Each one of you have, should have a bazooka net gun. So the guy comes out with a knife and you go, boosh, and he's on the ground. <laughs> Right, how come? Uh, Can't innovate, you have to use electricity and shock the hell out of people. Two different devices, like there's a, the bowler wrap. The, the bowler wrap, yeah, but you're still shooting the guns, going pow, it's still violent. Whereas you shoot a net gun, bro. It's a little- Who uses a net gun? Nobody, that's the point. The the Nobody. Uh, there must be a reason. Maybe it's been tested and it doesn't, it's not quite as effective, I don't know. Because you put all the money and resources into things that are gonna, for officer safety and not for human decency and not for society, not for community. If you guys were actually for community, if you actually joined to help people, you'd be with me at the city council meeting saying, we could change these handcuffs out. We could come up with a better way. I know with the 5,000 members of the Las Vegas Police Department, we could find another way to detain people besides using metals from, that they usually, they created for slaves, for black slaves. That's why, that's why torture cuffs were created. Did you know that? The shorter the chain, the worse the slave's behavior was. It's a fact, bro. Oh, he's got, that guy's not homeless. You guys all please stay safe. Another direction there, bro. Thank you. Dude, that, that guy's not even, wait, he's not homeless? What? Did you see that one? Cora, did you see, did you see that? Yo, my brother, make, make sure you follow my channel so you can see yourself on there. I am the Silver Fox. Okay, Silver Fox. It's on Delete Laws. You can watch it on Delete Laws. Goodbye, little buddy. Goodbye, little boy. You are so cute. Look at you. <laughs> God bless you, bro. Drive safe, okay? Go to Delete Laws and watch the Sandoval torture. Watch what he did. You tell me what you think. Let me, let me ask him some questions here. Hey, are you okay, man? Are you all right? We only, we only, you know, we only film cops to hold them accountable so they don't hurt you and kill you. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. You all right? Good. Yeah, I'm good. What happened? I have no idea why they really pulled us over. So they pulled you over? Is that that way they pulled you over right there? They pulled us over honestly for no reason. I mean, he went through CVS, yeah, but it was just because like, I uh, just because he wanted to. The way you look, you look a certain way, and so they pulled you over in CVS. And then I heard sirens, so you pulled over here, and then. So many Talk for like, no reason. Like a guy took off one guy. Right. They don't need that many cops. So the guy you were with jumped out and ran. I only know that guy like two, three times. I know her a little bit better, but I don't know that guy at all. Oh, you don't know him at all? No, there she was giving me a ride. She always comes over where I live. Okay. To another friend. She okay. Was me a ride. Okay. That's why I'm like so mostly. Yeah, so you were going through CVS, and the, by the way, that's a that's a gang unit, drug unit. Mm -hmm. They're Terry versus Ohio, looking for suspicious people. That's their whole job. What's the difference between the guys in the fatigues and the guys in the gray? Because he's wearing like military fatigues and you're wearing like suit. Yeah, so those guys are, uh, they have different assignment. These guys are more of like a proactive uh, unit. Or spend time officers. You guys are code enforcers and they're drug enforcers? No. Pretty close? They're, they're proactive enforcers. So basically what it means is they don't respond to calls for service. Um, they're out looking for bad guys. Like for Terry stops. They're literally looking to do a Terry stop. Wow. You have a whole division dedicated to doing Terry Stops. Terry Stops or if they see something going. Well, suspicious. Yeah. With, with the Fourth Amendment says that no warrant can issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation. Now, Terry versus Ohio allows these guys to say, I swear I was suspicious of him. And now you go in torture cuffs. That's why my whole mission is to overturn Terry versus Ohio. Okay. What happened? I have no idea why they really pulled us over. Oh, yeah. And they, they just get to decide what suspicious is. That's crazy. Dude. That's That's Terry versus Ohio. What's that? It's a Supreme Court case that changes the fundamentals of the reason why cops can interact with you. If they say they're suspicious of you, they can interact with you. And what happened just now? They said they were suspicious. What law was broken? None. What law did you break? Nothing. Did you guys speed? No. Did you hit anybody? Well, we went through the CVS. That's about it, bro. You went through CVS? Yes. You walked in? Yeah, they could say that's the crime, but no, no, no. No, we drove, instead of turning right, we went through CVS and then Oh, to, to avoid the stoplight. Yeah. And yeah. so that and was he suspicious? Went, he didn't go that fast either. Yeah. Okay, and then they just pulled him over? Pulled him over, and I'm asking why I'm being put in handcuffs. Why, I'm, why, why I'm you're being put in handcuffs? Give me. And you're the passenger? Yeah. They did not tell me why I was getting arrested or anything like that. Yeah, and you're the passenger in the car? I was just got in the car, and they were getting me around the street. That's simple. I have no That's idea simple. what's going on, what's in the car. Don't know. You're kidding me, dude.
What's your Instagram? I'll send you a DM. My name's Chili. Chili? Yeah. Right, for sure, bro. My channel is called Delete Laws. Hell yeah. Bro. Delete Laws. You'll, you'll be on. Okay, I'll, I'll DM you, okay? Right, sure, bro. Sorry that happened to you, bro. I'd love to see that. You're saying you're going to put this on there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened to you. Okay. So, yeah, you're free, right? What's that? What's that? You're free, bro. God bless you. How are those wrists? Huh? How are yeah, the... Did it hurt? Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, I do have an idea. Chili or Chili. Chili. Right, I do have an idea. They're called torture cuffs. I'll show it to you. Later, brother. Well, I'm sure I'll see you. I'll be here filming. So you take care of yourself. God bless.
good day, officers. I'm always safe, man. <laughs>